and family to God be the glory again for the gift of life. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for today. I give you all the glory forevermore in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. This is the last Sunday of August. What a time to celebrate the goodness of God. Thank you, Lord, forevermore. In the name of Jesus. It's me once again, Osasu Nogolo, talking about our homes and our families. Today I call my today's title, Couples, we know. Are you married? Are you a husband? Are you a wife? Couples, we know. What do we know? What is it that we ought to know? What is it that we know? If you are above 18, it is assumed that you are an adult. You know what you want. You know what, how exactly you want it. And if you are more than 21 years or you are more than 30 years and you are in marriage and your marriage still having crisis, the truth is we know what to do, how to do it, and what can we do to help our hopes in the name of Jesus. I want to take my text from the book of 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long had he between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. Hallelujah. If the Lord be God, Follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Hallelujah. And the people answered him not a word. That's where I'm going today. And the people answered him not a word. Their family, their people, Elijah confronted the people and said, If Baal is God, follow him. But if God is God, follow him. Dear couples in the house, adults in the house, you have a husband and you have a wife. You decided, I want to be married to this man. I want to be married to this woman. And now, situations are not like how it ought to be. Or sometimes, you are experiencing issues in your home. You are experiencing something that you don't seem to understand. That It's like the marriage is falling away. It's falling, falling from your arms. And you are wondering, what do I do? What do, should we do? Elijah asked the people, if God is God, follow him. If Baal is God, follow him. Whichever one you choose to be your God, follow him. I want to, us to learn something today from what Elijah said to the people at that time. Did the people know that God was real God? Were they pretending that Baal was God? Did they know that Baal was not a true God? He was just faking it? Was, what, where, was Baal pretending to help them? Was Baal pretending to support them? Were they deciding to follow Baal, thinking that Baal would help them? Did they admire Elijah who followed the true God? Did they appreciate Elijah having known that Elijah was a true prophet? I want us to use that story to 
how it applies to our homes. Do you like your marriage? Do you want to be married? Do you want to be an example? Do you love to see that people admire you? Is marriage something beautiful that God has made? Did you see the way your forefathers did it? Did you read in the Bible how the people of old worked in their marriages? How people like Esther, despite her glory, her beauty, the place she put her husband. People like Abraham, how they had respect for Sarah. Have you read it in times of old? Do you know about it? Have you been taught about it? Do you know that doing it accordingly has honor? Thank you, family and friends, for coming. I love you and I appreciate you in the name of Jesus. We know that's what I call today's title. Why could Elijah confront the people openly in the public, outside, if God is God, follow him? And then if you choose to allow Baal to be your God, follow him. Is marriage something you like? Do you say you don't know what to do to keep that man in the house? Do you tell me you don't know what to do to keep that woman in the house? Have you not heard of old times? Have you not seen that this husband, have you not seen that this man, the people that we admire, some of them, who are married 20 years, who are married 25 years, some are even married 45 years, what did they do to keep that home? What have they done to see that people look at them and wish to be them? So that some of them, when the other spouse goes to meet the Lord, one of the spouses who is remaining don't even want to get married. They say, that's enough. Our, our, our mom, Archbishop Margaret Dahosa, he said once is enough. She's not wanting to marry another person anymore. But here you are, you are in marriage, and yet you always have issues. There are cases where a third party is always coming. You are fighting with your wife, fighting with your husband, always having issues. Elijah asked the people, if God is God, follow him. If Baal is Baal, follow him. If you love marriage, if you admire marriage, if you appreciate marriage, do what is required. If you want to wear a particular cloth, for instance, as a woman, you know what to do to get, to get the cloth. As a man, if you want to have a particular thing, you know what to do to get it. Let's not destroy what God has blessed us with. Let's not begin to gamble with the giftings of God that God has given to mankind. Marriage is a blessing. From God to mankind. The Bible said, he looked at the man and said, it's not good that the man should be alone. He looked at the woman and said, you will be a helpmeet for this man. They both had their different responsibilities. They both had their different chores in the house. They both had their different duties to come and play in the institution of marriage. If you are in marriage, we know what to do. Don't nag your husband. Don't nag your wife. If there's a need in the house and you are available to do it, don't shift the responsibility. If you are available to do a thing, don't, don't ignore it. Don't insult your wife. Don't insult your husband. Don't chase away his family members. Don't chase away her family members. Elijah looked at the people and said, If God is God, follow him. If bad is bad, follow him. It's a choice. If you want to be married, be, be willing to do the principles of marriage.
Be willing to love that woman unconditionally. Be willing to love that, to respect that man unconditionally. If you don't want to do either of this, don't go into it. Don't become a nuisance to the institution that God has designed for man. Don't tell us that this man is, is an error. I cannot, I cannot do with him. Don't tell us this woman is an error. I cannot do with her. A human being is a human being. A human being will make mistakes. A human being will do errors. If your place of work, somebody offends you in your place of work, do you quit your place of work? You don't because you know you will get a pay from that place of work. Because marriage, there's not instant payments. We do it as we like. Do you know that marriage is a generational thing? Marriage is an institution by God himself. If you choose not to go to work today, if you choose not to do other businesses outside, you will still live. But do you know what it is to live in your marriage and continue in a wrong way? How you have destroyed generations coming? Examples that you would have been. I've not come to judge anyone today. I've not come to be a prophet or a, a preacher of wrong things or always analyzing a wrong thing. But if marriage is something you desire, what can you do to do that thing in that home? The people that Elijah was talking to, did they really know that God was God? Did they know that Baal was a fake God? So why did they follow that fake Baal? Why would they still do what Baal told them to do? Why would they still be doing what Baal wants them to do? A child that is 32 years says he does, she doesn't know what to do, how to respect her husband in the house, and you want a child who is 2 years or a child who is 5 years to believe you? A man who is 45 years says he doesn't know what to do to respect, to, to love her husband. When my son was still sucking breasts, there were this, my son had to suck for a very long time because he knew there was no other baby around him. Do you know what my son used to do sometimes? When I'm in the kitchen and he wants to suck breasts, my son will be dragging me. I didn't quite understand what he meant. And then I followed him one of the days. He dragged me to the kitchen, to the sitting room from the kitchen. And then he wanted me to sit down and give him breast to suck. And then I started laughing. I said, ah, you are now an adult. You need to stop sucking now. I'm only using that as an analogy, as an explanation. A child who was not up to five years, he knew that you cannot suck while standing. Mom needs to sit down before I can take breaths. How much more a girl who is 25, a girl who is 35, you say you don't know what to do to keep your husband? You say you don't know what to do to keep your wife? You are confused or you don't know her? Elijah said to the people, if God is God, follow him. If Baal is God, follow him. Maybe Baal has given you some benefits. Maybe Baal has given you some promises. Maybe Baal has given you some things and they appeal to you. Go with it. But if God it is, go with God and do it how God says. Dear people of God, marriage is a beautiful thing. I'm going to be married nearly 17 years by the end of this year. It's nearly 17 years. And I boldly say it in confidence, without pretense, I'm still in my honeymoon. I'm still enjoying home. 17 years I've been married. So people say, oh, you don't look it. Yes, because I'm very happy. It glows and it comes from within. It's not pretense. 
Even Satan knows it, that I'm very happy in my home. There are times my husband wants me to do things that I cannot do. I do it because I want him to, to be happy. There are times I want something to be done for me, even when it's not convenient for him. He does it for me, for me to be happy. Marriage is sacrifice. Marriage is service. Marriage is giving, giving. And if you want to pay instantly, no. If God is God, follow him. If you are in marriage, do what is applicable. Do what is required in marriage. The Bible says it is required if a servant to be faithful. It is required of you as a husband, be faithful. It is required of you as a wife, be faithful. If you have entered into the institution of marriage, do the, do the principles. Elijah wasn't forcing them anymore. Whichever one you choose to do, go ahead and do. Family of God, marriage is a beautiful thing. Marriage is God's plan for man. Marriage is where God will raise families, generations coming. And then we lay down right principles. We give them right teachings. We teach them this is how it should be. I like to do teachings that we enter into good soil in our hearts. I like to do teachings that will enter our hearts and we will put them to work. Teachings, teachings that would fall into good grounds. And when you do the word of God that has fallen into good grounds, you will profit from it. The Bible says some of the words that were spoken fell by the wayside. Some fell on thorns. Some fell on rocky grounds. But the one that fell on the good ground, it brought profits. Family, people of God, the beloved of God's family, if you are in marriage, it's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. God is interested in you. God's eyes are on your family. God's eye wants to protect you. God's hand wants to save you. God's hand wants to defend you. But mind you, principles will work in America. It will work in my village. It will work in Nasarawa. It will work in Niger Republic. It will work in Congo. Principles will work in Cameroon. Principles we work in Cote d'Ivoire. Principles we work in Ecuador. Principles they don't fail. If you do principles, it will work. If you are in marriage, husband, love that woman like Christ loved the church. Her wife, respect that man. That's your responsibility. That's your duty. That is the principle. That is the word of God. If God is God, follow him. If God is God, follow him. Whichever one you choose, it's up to you. Nobody is stopping you henceforth. Don't go into marriage with a wrong notion or whatever social media is telling you. Social media is not the one to guide your marriage. Somebody's experience is not what should guide your marriage. The word of God is the final authority for marriage. Marriage is with God. Marriage is from God. Dear people of God, I love you for coming. I appreciate your time. The Lord bless you deeply. The Lord do you good. The Lord will honor and favor you in the name of Jesus. I appeal to you today. Follow God. Follow the principles of God. Do the will of God. Do the counsel of God. You will not lose your reward. I, as a person, I do the counsel of God in my home. That's why I can boldly say, it will soon be 17 years I have been married. Somebody saw one of my videos one time and sent a message to me that, oh, he will want to marry me. Unfortunately, I have been married. I didn't look like I've been married this many years. That's why he was thinking, oh, I can just marry this one. But this is the many years I have been married. 
It's a good thing. If it's not a good thing, I'm not sure that person would imagine it. Dear couples, the principles that God has put into marriage, if you do it, you will have the same reward. You will glow some way. You will enjoy your life. Your life will be beautiful. You will not have a down days. You will not be disappointed. You will not be put to shame. Because you have done the principles that God has put in marriage. It is required a servant to be faithful. Be faithful to God and then you will be faithful to your, father, to your spouse in the name of Jesus. People of God, God bless you for your time. Thank you for commenting, for liking, for sharing. I appreciate you so much in the name of Jesus. The passage I read was 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. Elijah said, if God is God, follow him. If you are in marriage, do what is required of you and you will be glad. You will rejoice. You will celebrate. You will be younger than your age. Your life will continue to be full of celebration. Your home will be beautiful. Whatever you lay your hands upon to do, it will prosper. You will have ideas on how to make you move forward. If you are struggling in one area, your spouse will be, be the strength for that area. Whichever area you need strength, your other spouse will cover you. The principles of God will answer for you any day, any time. Marriage is a beautiful thing. I confirm that to you. I am in marriage. I am married. And I will still remain in marriage to Jesus as long, by the grace of God, for a very long time. Marriage is a beautiful thing. Don't let anybody dif tell you a different thing. And in marriage, follow the man who has instituted marriage. What he says to be done in the name of Jesus. Dear family of God, God instituted marriage. Do you have him in your heart? Do you love him in your heart? Have you made up your mind to follow him? If you have not, you may not know his principles. You may not do his principles. You may not know what is required of you. Inviting the Lord Jesus into your heart. Welcome him into your heart. Dear Lord, you sent Jesus to come and die for me. I welcome him into my life. Be Lord and master of my soul. Guide me. Help me in my marriage and grant me your grace in the name of Jesus. If you have said that prayer, he loves you so much. He dearly cares for you. Jesus, thank you for helping our homes. Jesus, thank you for continual help I have experienced and I will continue to experience in my home in the name of Jesus. Dear family, God is our father. He will help you in your home if you allow him. If you let him, he will help you in your home in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you everyone for coming again. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, let us pray. I want to thank you for your people. I want to thank you for the gift of life that you have blessed us with. I want to thank you for continual help that our homes have enjoyed. I thank you for as many that are just married, some in, in married five years, some in married 10 years, 15 years, 25 years. I cover every family seeing this video. I cover your homes with the blood of Jesus. The enemy attacking homes, fighting homes, your homes will be separated. Your homes will not suffer what the homes that do not know God suffer. Your home will be distinguished. Your home will experience the peace of God. Your home will enjoy the mercy of God. Your home will enjoy the beauty of God. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is fighting marriages in this day and in this age, you will not be part of it. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless our homes. The Lord will do good for our homes. The Lord will surprise our homes with good things. The Lord.
God will prosper our homes in the name of Jesus. In the many days of this month, the fat things of God for this month of August will come upon our homes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for doing good for our lives and for our families. We will not be stranded. We will not be asking what can we do. The Lord will give us favor. In this month, dear God, every financial breakthrough, every breakthrough that is required for our homes, we will handle it in the name of Jesus. Dear husband, dear wife, appreciate one another in the home and have a very lovely home in the name of Jesus. And we raise children who are mighty arrows that will represent us in the years and in the days to come. In the name of Jesus. Before I go this afternoon, let's quickly sing this song of mine. With Jesus in my family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Jesus in my family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. One more time with Jesus in my family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you everyone again for coming. I love you. I appreciate you. The Lord will give you giftings, deposits, blessings like never before in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again for coming. The Lord bless you. Always have great joy to do the teachings of the word of God regarding our homes and families. 4 o'clock United Kingdom and 4 o'clock Nigeria time. See you next week and God bless you and bye-bye. Is it gone?